Chapter 3 The Header The Conversion and Calling of Lehi He preaches too and is rejected by the Jews. Lehi is commanded to leave Jerusalem with his family and flee into the wilderness. 1. And it came to pass that as Lehi prayed unto the Lord, he was visited by the Spirit of God, and was shown a marvellous vision in which appeared before him a pillar of fire. And the pillar of fire was seen by those who were round the place where Lehi had fallen to the ground. 2. And it came to pass that a voice spoke unto Lehi from within the pillar of fire. Nevertheless, those who were around Lehi, even those that beheld the pillar of fire, could hear no voice from within. 3. And I, Mormon, have been commanded by the Lord not to write the things which Lehi heard from the voice within the pillar of fire. For the things which he heard are many things that the Lord hath commanded to be sealed up and kept from the eyes of the world until the time that these things shall come forth unto the children of men at the appointed time of the Lord. 4. But because of the things that Lehi did see and hear, he did fear exceedingly for his people and for all the world. 5. And it came to pass that Lehi, being overcome by the Spirit because of the things that he had both seen and heard in the vision, returned to his home and laid himself upon his bed. 6. And Lehi cried unto the Lord that he might be forgiven for his many sins, and that he might understand further what the Lord would require of him. 7. And it came to pass that he was once again carried away in a vision in which he saw many of the things of which Zenoch and Zenos had testified. 8. For he truly beheld the coming of the Son of God to the earth, and he saw the Lord go out among the people at Jerusalem, and begin to preach his gospel unto them. And he saw others who the Lord had called to help him teach the people his gospel. 9. And one of the servants of the Lord came, and stood before Lehi, and gave unto him a book, and commanded him that he should read the book. And as Lehi read the book, he was filled with the Spirit of the Lord, and rejoiced exceedingly. 10. And Lehi was called of God to go unto the people of Jerusalem, and teach unto them the things which he had read in the book. 11. And it came to pass that Lehi went forth again unto the people of Jerusalem, and began to expound on the things which had been testified of by Zenos and Zenoch, and also on the things which he had read in the book that was given unto him in his vision. 12. And Lehi preached many things unto the people of Jerusalem, and to his friends, and to his relatives, and to his family, which consisted of his wife, Sariah, and his sons, and his daughters. 13. And it came to pass that the people of Jerusalem rejected the words of Lehi, and cast him out from among them, and mocked him. For behold, the people at Jerusalem were hardened by their pride, and also by the pride that they had in the church of God to which they belonged. 14. And they mocked Lehi, saying, How can thee, being one man alone, claim that the church of God is corrupt? Dost thou not believe that the Lord hath prospered this church, and sanctified it because of its righteousness? Do we not attend regularly to the ordinances and traditions that Moses handed down to us? And we know that Moses was a prophet of God, and that he showed us all things that we must do in order to be saved in the kingdom of God at the last day. And do we not do all the things that he hath commanded us? 15. And Lehi rebuked them, saying, Know ye not that the Lord suffered Moses to give unto you a lower law because of your wickedness? And this lower law is the law that this church teacheth unto the people. 16. For behold, the sacraments and the ordinances and all the rituals thereof are symbols and representations of the pure gospel of the Lord. And the commandments that ye have been given have been given unto you because of your inability to live the higher law. Which law is this gospel of which the prophets of old have spoken? 17. And if there was no law given unto the children of Israel at the time they rebelled against the Lord in the wilderness, then they would have been left unto themselves. 
and they would have never had the opportunity to inherit the promised land. 18. And it was this law that brought peace among them, and suffered them to live one with another without violence, and without all manner of wickedness that would surely have led to their destruction. 19. But behold, this law that was given unto the children of Israel was a law of ordinances, and sacrifice that they might not forget the Lord their God, who had led them forth to the land of promise. 20. And these laws and ordinances were types and portents of those things that would come to pass in eternity. And it is this eternal law that ye cannot understand. Yea, I say unto you, that this eternal law is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, even he who shall come into the world, and the only way whereby man might be saved in the eternal kingdom of God. And ye do not understand this gospel, because ye have hardened your hearts against the Spirit of the Lord, which teacheth this pure gospel. 21. And this church, and all churches that the Lord suffereth to be built upon this earth, to turn the hearts of the children of men towards him, are not this gospel, nor do they represent this gospel, but they are set up among men to point them towards this eternal gospel, which is the only gospel of eternal salvation. 22. And it shall come to pass that the Lord himself shall come down amongst his people in the flesh, and teach this eternal gospel unto them, and they shall reject him, and kill him, because they do not understand his gospel, and this they do, because they do not have the Holy Spirit with them. 23. And the Lord hath sent many prophets unto us to preach repentance, and prepare us to meet the Lord, and hear his gospel, whether in this flesh, or as a spirit when we die. 24. And we have cast out these holy men of God, because we could not understand the things that they have preached unto us. And the blood of these men shall be upon our hands, and we shall suffer the wrath of God because of them. 25. And it came to pass that the people were angry with Lehi, and sought from that time forth to take him, and bind him, and carry him up unto the chamber of the high priest, so that he too might be tried for heresy and blasphemy before the church. 26. And they sought to take away his life as they did the lives of Zenos and Zenoc. For behold, Laban had delivered up Zenos and Zenoc to be killed by the hands of the people. And the people took Zenos and Zenoc, and after they had stoned them, they hung them by the neck until they were dead. 27. And there were many of the people who loved Lehi and his family, and did not desire that he be destroyed or cast out from among them. But the greater part of the people wanted Lehi cast out from among them, or bound, and taken before the other high priest where he would surely be sentenced to death. 28. And it came to pass that Lehi fled from before the people, and went unto his family, and told them all the things that had befallen him. 29. And it came to pass that Lehi gathered up his family, and some provisions, and fled with them into the wilderness before the more wicked part of the people could alert the high priests of his plans to flee Jerusalem. 30. For behold, the Lord had warned Lehi in a dream that he should take his family and flee into the wilderness. And Lehi was promised that if he would keep the commandments of God in all things, he would be blessed, and also his wife and his children would be saved. 31. And it came to pass that Lehi left his gold and his silver and all of his material possessions, and fled with his family into the wilderness. 32. And he travelled many days in the wilderness, until he came down unto the borders of the Red Sea. 33. And it came to pass that Laman and Lemuel, the elder sons of Lehi, began to mock their father and murmur against him, for they did not want to leave the land of their inheritance, and their gold, and their silver, and all their precious things. And they murmured and complained that their father was a visionary man who had dreams and visions that they did not understand. 
34. And Laman and Lemuel spoke to their father, saying, Why hast thou judged the people of the church at Jerusalem? Thou also were a great leader among them, and also a priest after the order of Aaron. And did not the Lord promise his people that he would never allow them to be led astray by those who lead his church? And we know that the leaders of the people are righteous men, because they have been called of God by the laying on of hands, and also by the Spirit of God. 35. And thou hast judged them, and pronounced evil upon their heads, because of the foolish dreams and visions which thou hast had which we believe are the imaginations of thy heart. 36. For behold, how could it be possible that they be wicked men, when the Lord hath shown his acceptance of them by granting them with prosperity and happiness? And they teach the people the words that are written, which are the words of the Lord which were written by the hand of Moses for the salvation of all Israel. 37. And thus Laman and Lemuel did murmur against Lehi, and desired to return again to the land of Jerusalem. For behold, the family of Lehi did indeed suffer many things in the wilderness. And because of these sufferings, Laman and Lemuel did rise up and murmur against their father. 38. And it came to pass that Lehi stood forth before his sons and rebuked them being filled with the power and spirit of God. And he confounded them, even so much that they did shake and tremble before their father, even that they dared not speak nor murmur any more against him. 39. And it came to pass that the two younger sons of Lehi, yea, even Sam and Nephi, did give heed unto the counsel of their father, and believed the things that he said unto them. 40. For behold, the Lord had chosen Nephi, the youngest, to lead his elder brothers, and for this purpose the Lord sent his spirit unto Nephi, and blessed him with wisdom and understanding that far exceeded that of his older brethren. 41. And the Lord promised Nephi that he and his posterity would be a great blessing unto his father Lehi, and unto all of the children of Lehi even unto the generations of Laman and Lemuel, if it so be that he keepeth the commandments of the Lord. 42. And it came to pass that Lehi commanded his sons to return to Jerusalem, and seek the plates of brass which contained the genealogy of his forefathers, and also a record of the Jews. And he commanded his sons to go unto Laban, and ask him for the plates of brass. 43. And it came to pass that Laman and Lemuel once again murmured against their father, and called him a fool for sending them to the house of Laban to obtain the record of the Jews. For the plates of brass were most precious unto the Jews, and they did not believe that Laban would give the plates unto them. 44. Nevertheless, they remembered the things that their father had said unto them, and they also remembered the power of the Spirit that they felt that had caused their frames to shake before him. And Laman and Lemuel kept their murmurings to themselves, and gathered up provisions, and their younger brothers Sam and Nephi, and went back into the wilderness towards Jerusalem. 45. And it came to pass that the lot fell to Laman, the eldest, to go into the house of Laban, and ask of him the plates of brass, which contains the record of the Jews, and the genealogy of Lehi. 46. And it came to pass that Laban mocked Laman, and sought to take away his life, for Laban had hardened his heart against Lehi, because he had taken his family, and fled into the wilderness. Nevertheless, Laban feared the part of the people that loved Lehi, and those that listened to what Lehi had said about the wickedness of the church and its leaders. 47. And Laban called to his servants that they might take Laman away, and imprison him according to the laws of the land. For Laban had lied to his servants, convincing them that Laman had tried to steal the plates from him. And Laban convinced his servants that Laman would steal the plates of brass that were of great worth unto the people of Jerusalem, telling his servants that Laman asked for the records without payment. 48. 
And Laman fled from before Laban, and went unto his brethren who were hiding outside the city of Jerusalem in the wilderness, and told unto them all that had happened in the house of Laban. 49. And it came to pass that the sons of Lehi returned again to the land of their inheritance, and gathered together all their gold and their silver, and everything that they had owned before they had fled into the wilderness. And there was much substance because of the riches that Lehi had acquired while he served as a priest in the church at Jerusalem. 50. And they returned to the house of Laban, and desired of him that they might buy the place of brass for the amount of all their possessions. 51. And it came to pass that Laban saw the riches that the sons of Lehi presented before him, and he desired to have the riches, but had no desire to give unto them the plates of brass as they had requested. 52. And Laban sent his servants to slay the sons of Lehi. But behold, the sons of Lehi fled again into the wilderness, leaving behind in the possession of Laban all their gold, and all their silver, and all their precious things. 53. And it came to pass that the sons of Lehi became exceedingly sorrowful, and desired to return to the tent of their father. 54. And it came to pass that Nephi, the youngest of the sons of Lehi, stood forth and pleaded with his brothers that they should not return to the tent of their father without the plates of brass which the Lord had commanded them to obtain from Laban. 55. And Laman and Lemuel became exceedingly angry with Nephi, and began to beat him with a rod, and cause him great pain. And Sam stood forth against his elder brothers, and pleaded with them to cease from smiting their younger brother. 56. And it came to pass that Laman and Lemuel would not heed the words of Sam, and continued to smite their brother, and also they did smite Sam with a rod. 57. And it came to pass that the Lord sent an angel unto the sons of Lehi, and rebuked Laman and Lemuel. Behold, the angel did speak many things unto them about their younger brother Nephi, who would one day rule over them. And the angel of the Lord did also tell them that the Lord would deliver Laban and the plates of brass into their hands. And after all these things, the angel of the Lord departed. End of chapter 3